Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and thank you, General, for, uh, for being here today. Welcome, and thank you for all you do in your service to our country. Um, I wanted to ask you uh, and chat a little bit about mefloquine, the uh, anti-malaria drug. Um, with the possibility of uh, sending troops to some countries where malaria is a current problem and a current issue, uh, and knowing that the U.S. and the United Kingdom have now banned mefloquine, I believe the U.S. is uh, maybe even six, seven, eight years ago. Uh, Australia and New Zealand are considering it or discussing it, and I'm not sure about other countries. This is a big issue in my constituency, my riding of Dartmouth Coal Harbour. I've met with veterans that take this very seriously and are very concerned about mefloquin. Um, now, I understand it was taken voluntarily by our military members, uh, but with new issues possibly popping up and side effects that perhaps weren't known back in the 90s when we were administering mefloquin, uh, at least in a larger capacity. Do we have a plan? Is there a plan for our country to discontinue the use of mefloquine or to ban it? And if so, is there an alternative for when we send troops into countries where malaria is a major issue? You know, <coughs> I wonder if you could maybe chat a little bit about what we are looking at or considering doing going forward. Thank you for the question. Uh, this is before the Surgeon General right now. If it's an issue that concerns our reservists, uh, or sorry, our, uh, our veterans, um, an issue that uh, is on people's minds, it's certainly on mine. And so it is before the Surgeon General. We will use the scientific uh, approach in this regard. Uh, there are alternatives to mefloquine uh, that have been used on other missions. And I think it would be premature right now to uh, foreshadow the advice that the Surgeon General will give to me uh, before he does so. But I, I appreciate the question, and I, it, is, it is being looked at as we speak. Okay. Are we, are we currently using uh, just mefloquine, or are we, are we using different alternatives now while this is before the Surgeon General, or is this something – are you able to elaborate a little bit on exactly what the use is right now of mefloquine? Uh, I don't have the exact details of what we're doing today on various operations. I do know that the use of mefloquine has um, – you know, is, is, is less um, prevalent. prevalent as it was in the past. And my understanding was that mefloquine was, a, was the drug of choice because you took it once a week where there was an alternative that you took every day. Do you know what the name of that alternative is? It slips my mind right now. Mine too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's because okay. I took it. I don't know. <laughs> Did you take it? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, but I, I, if I could, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Chair, maybe I, I, I take this question on notice to give you a more fulsome explanation of where we are at exactly right now. Um, I know having done operations where I've, uh, where I've uh, taken anti-malarials, which was not mefloquine at the time, um, each operation is different. The threat, uh, the threat vectors through the mosquito uh, population are different. We take a, a prophylactic approach uh, to, force, to protect our forces uh, no matter where they are. And each approach uh, is different. So I, th I think it's probably best that I offer you on notice uh, a more fulsome explanation of exactly where we are at from a medical perspective, how that uh, prophylaxis works, and, uh, uh, and when the Surgeon General finishes his, uh, his work on this and reports to me, we will certainly uh, share that with the Canadian public. Do you know when that might be, when the Surgeon General might Report back. I don't have a date right now. Is it imminent or is it years away? It is absolutely not years away. Okay. It is. Uh, I would say it's imminent. Somewhere between imminent yeah. and years away. The Surgeon General has an opinion right now <coughs> um, on the validity and the use of anti-malarials, and I think it's probably worthwhile that uh, we t we we put that in the, the take on notice response. 